Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can create scrollable frames in Tkinter. So what exactly is a scrollable frame? Well, you know what a frame is, right? A frame contains widgets, it contains GUI elements, anything really. Everything goes inside a frame. So a scrollable frame would mean that the actual size of the frame is bigger than the area that you can see, right? And uh, like if it's a thousand pixels in height, you're only showing 500 at a time and the rest of the 500 can only be seen by using a scroll bar or something like that. Like here in VS Code, the editor I'm using, we have a scroll bar located right here and I can go down and up here, okay, to, uh, you know, see all this text. Now, Tkinter supports, you know, this kind of thing, the scrolling feature in certain widgets. It supports it in the canvas. It supports it in the notebook widget as well, right? And I'll leave links to these two videos if you're interested, all right, in the description below. But what Tkinter does not support is including the scroll feature inside a frame. And there may be certain situations where this, you know, this is something that you need to do. Now let's begin with the explanation. Basically, I have this code over here, and this code creates a vertical scrolled frame class, okay, about 30 lines big. And in this class, we have created a special frame, okay, we've inherited from a frame, and then made a few modifications here and there to make this frame scrollable, okay? Now, in this video, I'm gonna just go through this code and explain each line to you one by one, all right? So let's begin. Here I have defined the name of the class. Then we initialized the parent using any parameters that we may have passed to this class when initializing it, okay? And th again, this is just basic initialization of the parent from which we are inheriting from, okay? Now here is also some very basic boilerplate-ish kind of code. We are creating a scroll bar over here, a vertical scroll bar that is gonna be in our canvas. Uh, oh, and I need to get to that. This is actually the main deal. The canvas, we're creating a canvas over here because no matter what you do, a frame will never support a scroll bar, okay? You cannot add a scroll bar to a frame, but you can add a scroll bar to a canvas, and you can also add a frame to a canvas. See, you can, you can add a frame and a scroll bar to a canvas. So what we're gonna do, basically, in this class is add a frame to the canvas and then add a scroll bar in the canvas that controls that frame. And the canvas also allows us to do many things. Like we can, we can basically recreate that effect. We can only show a portion of the frame, basically. And that's how we're gonna kind of simulate the effect that the, that the frame itself is being scrolled. But in reality, it's basically the canvas that's managing this. Okay, so here we created a basic canvas. Uh, again, we just, did fairly basic stuff, just connected the scroll bar to the canvas, then connected the scroll bar to the canvas as, as well. You, you need to do it both ways. You need to specify the Y scroll command, okay, of the V scroll bar. Then you need to also configure this in the scroll bar, okay, this Y view function that belongs to the canvas. Okay, again, that's just copy paste code basically. Then down here is where the main stuff is. Okay, this is the main stuff, the main concept over here. Basically, we create a frame, okay, with the canvas as the parent. This is the frame, all right, the self.interior. This is the frame that we're gonna be uh, actually placing all of our widgets inside. TTK.frame over here. This is just an extra frame. Okay, we have two frames here. This is this class itself just serves as a wrapper around all of these different widgets. It's a wrapper around the canvas, the scroll bar, and the interior frame, okay? So what we do here is create this interior frame, then we bind this frame to a function. And this function I'll discuss in a minute. We also bind the canvas to a function, and both of these have the event they're binded using the event configure. Configure is an event that gets triggered 
whenever you resize a widget. Okay, so if you, you know, when you run the code and it generates a window, then you resize that window by dragging it, or maybe you explicitly change the dimensions by calling root.geometry or something, or many other ways of doing it, then this configure okay, event will be triggered, and whichever function it's, it's connected to is gonna be triggered. Okay, now this is also very important, this line right here. This is where we add the frame to the canvas. Okay, this is the origin point, the initial x and the initial y posi positions to which we draw this. Okay, this is the window. Okay, it's, it's called a window that we draw. We draw the frame, which counts as a window that we draw to the canvas. And this returns an ID. Okay, and this is important that we store this ID because we'll need it later to reference this, this frame. Let's move on to these two functions now, okay? These are very important. The configure function, by the way, you should know, is called in the very beginning of the program as well, when the window is first being, you know, created. So that's important to keep in mind. These two functions will be called in the very beginning of our program, and they are essential to creating that scroll, you know, the scroll frame. So what's going on in this function? This is the one that's connected to the frame. Okay, the soft.interior frame. Here what's happening is that we get the size of the frame. Okay, these two functions can be used on any frame object to return its size. Okay, then what we do over here is define a scroll region inside the canvas. A scroll region is basically, um, it's basically the actual area. Like let's say you have a thousand by thousand frame, but you only want to show 500 by 500 at any given point. So that is the scroll region. Uh, actually, the, the scroll region is the thousand by thousand, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. The width and the height here, uh, these, these define how much of the region you want to see at a given point. So if this was 500 and uh, this was 500, and let's assume that the size of the frame that you want to show is 1000 by 1000. So the scroll region is going to define that size of the frame. Okay, so we basically take the size of the frame over here and then define the scroll region, the amount of region, the amount of area that is scrollable, basically. Then, you know, we configure that setting over here. And let me just undo that. Okay, this is how much area is viewable at any given point. Okay, the width and the height here is just how much area you can see at any point in time. Here now what we do is, uh, if the widths are not the same, because our goal here is to make sure that the frame and canvas have the same width. So then if they're not the same, then we just update them. Okay, we update using the config function, the width of the canvas to make it the same as the frame. All right, so now look at this function over here, configure canvas. This is the one that's binded to the canvas. Over here, what we're, what we're doing is saying that if, you know, it's the same thing over here, that if the sizes are not the same, what we're going to do is update the size of the frame, okay? Item configure is a function that can be used to update uh, or to configure the settings of any object drawn inside the canvas. And right now the frame is an object drawn within the canvas. So we can use this item configure function, which takes the ID the ID that was returned from the create window function. Okay, that's why I said the ID is important. You need to store the ID because then later you can use the ID in such functions like item configure to change its parameters, to change its width, change its height, etc. Okay, so that's so that's what's happening here. Now finally, here is our driver code. What we do is create the frame just like we normally do, just pass in the parent, then pack it in like we always do. Now, there's just one thing to keep in mind. We have added 10 buttons here to our frame, okay? But we're not going to do self.frame. We're going to do self.frame.interior, okay? Because this, this is the frame that we actually want to, you know, you know, put all, put all of our widgets in. This is the frame, self.interior is the frame which is drawn to the canvas, the one that has the scroll bar attached to it, basically. Okay, not uh, 
this. Okay, this is just the wrapper frame. Soft dot frame is a wrapper. So we do soft dot frame dot interior. And that's it pretty much. Now I'm going to run this code and we can see that we get this nice little scrollable frame over here. Okay, and let me just increase the number of buttons. All right, see now it's better. All right, and watch if I increase the size, increase this all the way. Uh, uh, hold on, let me just decrease the number of widgets in here. It's getting a bit hard to show you this. Okay, change it back to 10. Then I want to show you that if we expand this all the way, the scroll bar basically gets disabled kind of because you know uh, right now the scroll region let me show you the scroll region basically the size of the frame is now completely being filled okay the whole frame is, is visible and the frame was our scroll region basically so uh, you know that's why the, the scroll bar gets disabled because the basically all of our scroll region is uh, available on the screen so there's nothing left to scroll Okay, so that's the basic concept over here of the vertical scrolled frame. You can go ahead and make modifications to this class to, uh, you know, achieve whatever you want to. You can change this to horizontal by changing the orientation and a few other things here and there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just experiment with this and uh, try out different things. I also recommend you guys look into how to draw things to canvases. You can draw regular widgets to canvases as well. You can draw labels, buttons, you can draw them to canvases as well. So you don't need to draw a frame. You could just draw a normal canvas and then make the canvas scrollable with all those widgets inside of it. You can do, you can try that as an alternative. I'm going to make this code available on my website. Okay, there'll be a link to my website in the description below. You can go check out my website from there and all of the code will be available on that link. All right, and you can use it from there. Uh, I hope you guys found this video informative and useful. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye then.